Well, good evening, my fishing brethren. Do you recognize you recognize this old girl right here? This is the old Skeeter. This is the 1986 Skeeter Wrangler 150. And uh, this week, tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll be giving this boat to my dad. And um, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little sad to see it go. I, I really have liked this this boat. Um, it just means a, it just means a whole lot to me, and I'm glad to see that it's going to stay in the family and um, all of that. So, what I want to do tonight is I want to try out something. So, if you guys watched my previous videos on Polyglow, it's that application that you put on these old boats that don't have the gel coat left. Well. I got a lot of hate over that particular issue. Probably not hate, that's not a very good word. Most people were pretty kind about it, with the exception of one um, private message that was sent to me. Uh, but I got a lot of critique because Polygol apparently is kind of a cop-out method, according to some people. And I'll be honest with you, it looked really good when I first did it, when I first applied it. Uh, but now that it's set in the sun for a couple of weeks and I haven't really paid much attention to it, it looks pretty poor. So what I'm going to do because I'm going to try the same method that I tried on the other champion boats if you've watched those. I'm going to, I'm going to wash it with uh, just a general car wash with ammonia in it. I'm going to put some acetone on top of that, real light, let it dry. And then I'm going to sandpaper it with 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to come in with polishing compounds and wax on top of that. And I'm going to see, because what I've been told by a couple of people that do this work for a living is that the polyglow won't last it's not a good product and it's kind of a kind of almost a scam is the way they put it and if you will just do the regular um, polishing compounds and then a wax coating on top of that that it will look just as good and also will last a whole lot longer so I'm gonna try it um, if this works I will do the whole boat uh, with this method before I give it to my dad kind of as a surprise because he knows it's in rough shape but if I can deliver it and it's all shiny and, and, and looks good I think it would be really cool for him so I'm gonna try it I'll invite you guys along I'll let you see the before and I'll let you see the after and so again I'm not gonna go through the process with you but um, at least not on film so the process is I want to wash it with a car wash um, with a soap and then but but there's ammonia added to that to help strip the poly glow that's on it so there's not a lot left but there is some and you need to strip that so the ammonia will take care of that then you come back over with a really light layer of acetone you let that dry once that's dry you wet sand it with a thousand grit 1500 grit and 2000 grit after that you use your polishing compounds so I've got three stages uh, from a fine or excuse me from a heavy grit to a fine grit and then when you're done with that you wipe it, you let it dry, you wash it one more time, and then you come back and you wax over top of that. So we'll see what happens. I'll kind of show you the before and I'll show you the after, and we'll see we'll see what we think. So I'm going to choose this back area. Uh, this was the part that looked the best when I did the polyglow, and then over here on the side is one of the parts that looked the worst. Uh, now I know the sunshine is is kind of preventing you guys from seeing exactly what it looks like but the the polyglow has faded a lot of it's come off and um, it, it's it's gotten rough again so what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll do that process that I just explained and then we'll do from that little corner back there all the way to about right here and I'll stop in the middle of this lettering and that way we'll be able to see what it looks like uh, before and after so I will show you the before here and then um, as the Sun goes down I'll finish it and then I'll show you the after Okay guys, I got it all buffed out and, well excuse me, I got it washed, sanded, and then buffed all the way, all three steps, and uh, it doesn't look a whole lot different, uh, but it's super smooth, and hopefully whenever I put the wax on, it'll, it'll go ahead and shine up, we'll see. So I wanted to give you guys, this is the system that I use. Um, there's certain levels there, you can see medium cut, fine cut, and then that, uh, the, the machine glaze there. Those are the three buffing compounds. And then I come back and I finish with this high-tech yellow wax. Now that wax is supposed to be really good for um, for boats and, and cars that suffer through a lot of kind of damage like sticks or twigs or if you're going through um, you know, sand or anything like that. But uh, scuffs on your boat should be protected with that, with that wax. So I usually put, on my other boats, I've been putting three coats or four coats. I'll probably put at least two this evening. I'm waiting on the sun to go down to put that on. But that, that's the that's the product I use. Now these are expensive. They're about they're about seventeen to twenty dollars a piece, depending on where you find them. But in my experience, they have been they've been well worth it, worth it. Um, so, anyway, just want to give you guys that. And then as soon as I finish the 
as soon as I put the wax on, I'll show you the before and after. Okay, so I've waited for the sun to go down and our surface is nice and cool and dry. And so I'm going to show you kind of how I do this, uh, this yellow wax uh, that goes on here. Now, I do this with trepidation because everybody has an opinion on this. Everybody's going to do it a little bit different. Um, but you guys are watching my channel and it's my boat, so I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. Uh, like it or dislike it, it's completely up to you. Uh, but this is what I do. So I have a, a polishing pad, so I don't use a cloth to wipe on the polish and it's just personal preference um, you can kind of do whatever you want a regular rat wet a regular rag will work just fine and so I put a little bit of polish on the applicator now I do not wet do not wet my applicator a lot of people say to use it uh, on, on a damp cloth or whatever I don't I just use it dry and you just start here and I just make little circles and it goes away pretty quick and then when you got your circles made, I actually come back and I go up and down like this. And then I go side to side like this. Now, the reason is I want an equal and adequate cover uh, from that wax all over the, the surface. I don't want any, any part to be globbed or anything like that. You want it really, really even. So I circle it on and then up and down and then side to side. Okay, now once I have that, I go to the opposite side of the pad. Now you have to keep you have to keep which one is which. So I have this little tag, and it reminds me of which side is which. Uh, which reminds me of which side is which. I'm having a really hard time with my words tonight. Turn it over, and then I just run it across and kind of buff that out a little bit. Okay, now that section is done with one coat. I'm going to go through, I'm going to do all the sections that I have. I'm going to break it into four different sections and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to try to do three coats of this wax all over this corner of the boat and we'll see how it looks. When I'm done, when I'm done with all three uh, coats, I'll come back with a dry terry cloth and I'm just going to wipe over it real lightly and just make sure all the excess is off. But that's, that's not until I'm done with all three coats. I'm not going to do that. A couple things to remember with the wax. Number one, uh, you want everything to be really clean. And so the compounds and stuff that you're rubbing in, that you're washing, it's not it's not that pertinent to be just super, super clean. Um, but like this terry cloth I just dropped and I got some junk all over, some dirt and some debris. Uh, I'm not even gonna use that at the end. I want it to be just as clean as possible. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this because I got just a little bit of shade here and uh, I think it's a good time to finish it. And then I'll show you the end result. All right, so we'll see how well you guys can, can tell. I ended with the R at the end of Wrangler. That's kind of where uh, the whole thing ends. It's pretty shiny, it's real smooth. Yeah, like glass, it's really nice. Um, it doesn't bring back the color like the Polyglow did, but um, it seems a little more uniform, and this is supposed to keep um, for, for much longer than the Polyglow would. Uh, the bottom looks fantastic. Sorry about that shaky camera work there. Um, really shiny and like I said, the, you know, where it's faded, I'm, I'm not going to be able to fix that. Um, but I can protect what's left, and I think this might be this might be a better way to go than even the Polyglow. So you can see the the before stuff. This is not treated. It's real rough. Uh, it's faded, and that Polyglow didn't last very well at all, and definitely didn't keep it smooth. Um, so this may be it. So leave me your opinion in the comments. Let me know if, if the wax is the better way to go or if I should just give it to him uh, like it is, unfinished up here, and let him do the polyglow himself. Or should I just not worry about it all and let, uh, let my father figure it out for himself what he wants to do? But it would be nice to give him a boat that's nice and clean and shined up. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys would uh, suggest, and we will... We will go for there. So it looks like Tuesday I'm going to take the boat out for its last hoorah with me. We'll get the engine going tomorrow, make sure that's all squared away, and then um, we'll head to the lake Tuesday morning. So anyway, let me know your opinion. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.